Howdy, hey, hey. it's, it's the doll place. place. I'm so sick of swimming as fast as I can. Wondering if I'd get there faster if I were a merman. Because if I were a merman, then I'd be the merman. So today we're doing another behind the scenes photo. Um, we are doing H2O Just Dead Water because I love this show and I've seen it over 17 times through. So we are recreating the photo of just like the main, like... The main man. Th just the photo. My main man. We were originally going to do two. One of Ricky, Cleo, and Emma, and then one of Ricky, Cleo, and Bella. But none of our dolls look remotely like Bella. And I can't think of a single doll that even does look like Bella. So, of course, we're going to be making their tails, the beach, the sky, the entire ocean, Mako Island. And um, I thought I would make their signature lockets. We gotta make Mako. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're also gonna make their lockets just because I have one of the lockets. I got it for my birthday. Their lockets are just like, you gotta have it. Even though it's not in the picture, they have to have it. So we're gonna make them anyway. So the first thing, of course, is their tails. So I basically just took Beatrice and laid her on some paper to get the shape of the tail, just outlining her. And then once I had the outline of the basic, like, doll, I added a little bit of extra room for, like, a little bit of a hem at the waist. And then I just flipped her feet up so that you guys could see where her feet would be when they're inside of this fluke. Then I made the mark of where her feet ended so I could kind of just see where the feet were at. And then I just created the tail shape. Now I drew in all like the pieces like in the design. I don't know why I did that. That's stupid. Yeah. So then we have the basic shape and you guys can see where that hits and you guys can see where her feet will be inside of it. And that's our basic pattern piece for the tail. Um, but yeah, so there it is, and I'm going to cut it out of this, um, sparkly spandex fabric, the orange, and I thought this was a good color, and I'm just going to get this basic shape cut out. I just want you guys to see what the paper looks like before I do like this, so you can kind of see what it looks Wow, that's so cool. And then we cut out the fluke, um, I mean the whole shape of the tail along with some interfacing to, to be the fluke and this just thickens it and it has a place to hide the doll's feet and then we cut out some of the top as well and yeah you guys can see this is what it looks like I'm just going to be sewing the interfacing to that and then sewing um the other side good side to good side um you know with so the interfacing is on the inside of both pieces and it's all sewn up so I'm gonna do that so this is just an example of what it looks like <laughs> We just took <laughs> these random photos just to see um, how the shape works. And this shows our basic design for this particular photo where we're going to have a beach kind of hiding their legs. They're going to have like little leg pockets under the sand. And then her actual tails are going to be held up with something else and behind them. Because their legs obviously can't bend like and that. And of course, she's not going to be topless. Unless you want your dolly to be topless, then you can just throw away the top. But yeah, of course, their legs can't bend completely backwards, so we had to set it up like this. And then we cut out this fluke shape that we sewed together to be the back fin, and we pinned that on so that we could sew that. And then here's what it looks like on the tail and on the doll, and um, it looks really, really cool. It's a nice touch. Yeah, and you can see the top. And we just, yeah, we also made the top, and it's pretty simple. It just ties around the neck and Velcros in the back. We made this scale mold out of just some uh, liquid clay material to be like, um, you know, so that we could paint over it and have it all kind of match up so we're not just kind of like going free handed with it because, you know. Um, but yeah, here is what the tail looks like. And this is without all of the um, paint and all that, but that's what we're going to be getting into. So we just put a little bit of cardboard inside of the tail so that it doesn't seep through. And we have these Lumiere paints, and these are mica. We have the metallic gold and the crimson. And you guys can see, I tested it on the back of my hand. You guys can see it really and shines. It makes you look like a little beauty guru. Yeah, but my skin also, like, reacted to it really weird. So here we did a little sample. As you can see, they look like little scales. And this, your doll is going to be a fish. And this was just of the bright gold, I mean the metallic gold. And you guys can see when you stretch it, it doesn't crack or anything like that, which is really cool. So it can like... To be a fish is your wish. So here you go. So then we got the scale mold on the tails. And this took a long time to actually get them painted. But here is... 
You guys can see I have potato chips right there. But here is what yeah. the front of it looked like. And I also painted the fluke. And this took at least four hours. Um, and guys, let me just say, we didn't flunk on the fluke. But yeah, here are all the scales. And there, there is the metallic gold a mix of the gold and the crimson, and then the crimson, and then some watered down paint to kind of get some shadowed areas. Of course, we do have to paint the back. Okay, so here we are, seven tails later. We just made as many as we could with our fabric and paint, and um, the backs are done now too, and you guys can see that. This was over the course of about two weeks. Um, but yeah, the tails are done, which is good, um, along with the tops. All right, so now that those are done, the next thing we wanted to make was, of course, their lockets. And we didn't go too into detail with this at all. We just followed the basic shape using some metallic polymer clay and then using these little tiny gemstones that we kind of just got and put those on there. And then we had our lockets. It's time to make Mako! <laughs> So we went into our basement of um, old things from AG and DM and disturbing cardboard things, and yes. we found our volcano that we used in our Elements Week for oh fire. My God. And um, you guys can see it looks like a piece of junk right now, and it has a lot of holes in it. Oh so it's gonna need a little bit of TLC. So we got some paper mache mix, which is just flour and water, in this old planner from 2018, which obviously is not useful anymore, to just cover. The entire thing and then we're gonna cut it, the top a little bit because it's a little too tall so we cut it and then we covered it in paper and here is what it looks like now here it is painted and as you can see it looks like tafiti and then we did some more in-depth painting to still get it um to mean to get it to look more like mako and this is what the final product looked like <laughs> Like the kind of okay. here, and here's what it ended up looking like and you guys can see it's kind of facing the opposite direction like the cone of the volcano is kind of on the opposite side but you know you gotta do what you gotta do man this was refurbished from an old set and that's okay we do speak use and recycle baby that's what I'm all about speaking of which this used to be the storming of Bastille structure torn apart and then on the inside, we just unfolded it and painted this beautiful blue sky. So then, of course, we had to make the ocean, which is made entirely of aluminum foil. Yep, just like in our Lady of Shalott photo, but this one's a little bit bigger. And um, we're just doing this by painting it. We just paint the foil, but kind of light, lightly, so you can still kind of see some of the, like, the metal glow under it. It kind of helps it look like water, but you still have to add shading and stuff. Or so we tell ourselves. So here's our closet full of stuff. Actually, it's not a closet. Now it's time for the beach, and we have this trifold here that we just unfolded and covered in paper mache stuff. And this was just cardboard. And here's some ASMR for you guys. I turn up the volume. I've always wanted to be an ASMR artist. And then um, now that we have like the kind of structure of it, um, we're gonna make the hollow part that their legs are gonna be like inside of. Um, so that's going beyond this part right here. And basically we're just going to be using some random things about as thick as doll legs and then just paper mache over that. So this is another process. A bit of bad lighting chance. So here is what that looks like drying and you guys can see it's just, you know, it has a little pocket now. And um, now we're going to add some sand to it. And we're going to use real sand because we are genuine around here. So we just bought some sand because they sell sand inside of stores. Here's another look at the hollow part. And here's the sand. Say hi, sand. Hi, I'm sand. <laughs> <laughs> so sand, and yeah. here's what the beach looks like. And yeah, we're gonna come back to that soon. So then we're just getting everything set up. 
and a little chihuahua girl entered the thing. I guess she wants to be a mermaid too. So if Chloe approves, you should approve. Moving on. And we slowly got it set up with the sky, a little bit of the water, then we added Mako, then continued with the water, and just kept going. And this is what it looked like. Um, of course, the sand isn't here yet, but you guys can see it's pretty big. It's taken up this whole room, and I'm pinned into the closet, which is always fun. Always a great sign. And there's a Chloe butt. Um, she has a really thick tail. And she's going to make a wild. And, yeah, oh, well, she kind of she kind of missed it. So she's a little scared of it. So we're gonna get the sand out here to get the beach where the mermaids are actually going to be. But first, we're going to be creating our mermaids here. So the first character we wanted to make was Cleo, and we were in between our Nenea doll Flora and our number forty-four named Cleo. Um. <laughs> And, I mean, there was some resemblance, but we ended up picking um, Flora because, I don't know, she just is a better fit. Her hair isn't too ringlety, so, you know, it works. It, it, it passes, okay, guys? Um, so, yeah, here she is in the tail, and I think she really pulls it off. Then Next is Emma. And for Emma, two doll we had three blondes left, Kit, Caroline, and Isabel. And our obvious choice was Isabel, although she doesn't have blue eyes. But we'll kind of just edit those a little bit. So, yeah. Um, this is the ultimate test, the prettiest blonde. Huh? So then, last but not least, we have Ricky. And um, the only blonde we had, blondes we had left were um, Kit, Kit and Isabel. And, of course... No, not Isabel. Kids and Caroline. So, of course, we went with... We picked Caroline. Even though her hair is a little too curly, we kind of just watered it down and pulled it back a little bit. You guys can see it does have a little bit of wave to it, but Caroline has, like, ringlets. But, you know, it works. And, I mean, her eyes are blue. She pulls it off enough. So, she is the last one to get transformed, guys. It's metamorphosis Ready? time. Whoa. beach out there before we get the dolls okay so here's the beach and it has its little leg pockets which you guys I you really can't see it without me stepping on the ocean but because this takes up about eight feet of the whole room um but yeah guys the beach is here it's so great and our little merm dog is back fantastic okay so as you can see our beach is absolutely fantastic so we're just going to get the beauties out here. <laughs> and now, getting them out here was quite the process, because they had to be posed with their hands in this position that American Girl dolls can't really do. So we used hair ties. And we also wetted their hair back. So it wetted? We kind of wet their hair back a little <laughs> bit and tied their hands together in the right spot, because some of them had them to the side. They're and under arrest for being too gorgeous. <laughs> Some of their hair, I mean, some of their hands were kind of off to the side, in front. Some were leaning a little bit. You had to get that right look, you know? And we kind of dealt with the hair last. Oh, look, there's a car outside. Okay, so here is all three of them. Oh. So anyways, here are their legs all underneath the sand. And as you can see, they all have their lockets on and their tops. And then we're just going to have the tails stick straight up right behind them to look like they are bending their back and you can just see their tail peeking out of the water like this. It's hard to explain, but anyways, it, we're making an illusion and making the American Girl dolls do things that they can't physically do. And some of them, um, Ricky and Emma, their tails kind of went off to the side, so, you know, we did that. And we just used things that we could find that were around the size of doll legs and kind of used that. But here is what they look like all posed. And, and they look like idiots from the side and yeah, the back but, and the top. But so a lot of you guys were curious about this on Instagram. If, I think you guys thought we like took off their legs or edited it. Uh, uh, no. no. <laughs> um, but, so it's picture time, guys. Ooh, here we go. Greetings for Mako. <laughs> Greetings for 
thanks for Mako. So here is the photo all finished and we edited some of the eye color on Isabel and stuff like that and um yeah I mean it looks just like the show and I'm really 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 happy with the way that this came out it's really really cute and they all look just like the characters at first I was nervous none of them would be able to really pull it off but they all ended up pulling it off when they got those tails on they really they just they just knew what they had to do and they went out there and it's, slayed it they, they just they totally stole it they slayed it and we took some other photos yes queen uh, look for that shell yes queen flip that tail <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching. Hey, howdy, hey, goodbye today. But yeah, this was so much fun to do, and like I said, we love this show, and we're happy that we have a doll recreation of it. And there's a link in the description because these tails and tops are available now on our Etsy shop, but so, Etsy shop, so please go check them out. If you so desire. You don't want to miss it. Make your dolls into some magical mermaids from Mako Island. Thank you for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.